Ugh, good morning, guys. Just literally scarfed down a dozen donuts, but you know, nobody's watching. Just got done at the Doughboys. They got the best hot donuts. I had a dozen glazes. It was six bucks for a dozen, and uh, I had a coffee too. So, day's a work day. We are back. We're back on Georgetown. We usually mow, we usually do that kind of stuff, but today I'm, I'm helping out a buddy. Uh, I'm helping out a friend. So, I got a little weekend project. He texted me and he's like, Yo, man, I need you for something. And this is one of those friends where when they text, to you and they say that you know it's not gonna be good they're gonna make you work really hard and i mean like it's fine and stuff because he helps me out too but i wasn't looking forward to it first i thought i'd be like mowing his lawn or something because that's like what i usually do when he leaves on vacation but he's actually wanting to put in a swimming pool so he he called me up and he's like yo spence i need you to i need you to make a swimming pool i was like oh yeah i mean i've had some excavator work in the past i worked on an excavation crew and we we, we dug a lot and I, I got a few hours in I mean, I'm not crazy good or anything. I'm not super experienced, but I mean, like I can do it. I can, I can dig out. I can excavate the swim, swim pool if I got like everything kind of measured out for me. So he did. He had a, he had an engineer come in and they designed it, but now he needs me. So I'm going to run. He has a backhoe there, not an excavator, a backhoe. He cheaped out on that, leased it. And then it's actually pretty nice. And then I'm bringing my, my dump truck. Cause we're going to actually take the dirt in and take it to a site that we can unload it. At. I think it's just a constru construction site looking for some fill dirt. So that's going to work really good. I got the big boy here and then yeah i'm gonna be in i'm gonna be in the back hole running and gunning and we're gonna see how it goes it's a bit of a drive i got like a 45 minute drive so we gotta scoot out of georgetown here and then we're heading over to mills county so he's kind of like he's kind of in town kind of out of town i'll show you once we get there but i'll see you in a bit all right boogity 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 boys we're almost there i'm scooting along i'm running a little late i had some traffic got off on a uh different interstate and this is uh there's like nobody here kind of feel like the interstate's close but we're almost there i think we're like literally five minutes out there's uh yep here comes the let's, let's read what the sign says okay stay in the mills half a mile okay so we got half a mile i think it's this exit right here perfect 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 and i think we get off right here and then if if I remember, he's by the church. You can see the church right on the left by the water tower. All right, this is our exit. Oh, I'm doing good on fuel. I'm actually, fuel for the truck's good, but my stomach's starting to growl a bit. Hold Casey. Maybe get, uh, what time is it? It's about 10, 11 o'clock almost. Oh, heck, let's go in and let's get some... God, I love their sausage pizza. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a slice. That way, when I'm when I'm sitting in the backhoe, my stomach starts growling. All of a sudden, I see flashes. I see, I don't see thing. I don't see straight. And then it cuts back on productivity. So, real quick, let's go get me some Casey's pizza. All right, perfect. If you guys don't know what a Casey's is, that's probably because you aren't from around the Midwest or where I'm from in Iowa. Casey's super popular, and it's uh, they actually have like really good pizza. It's my they're they're famous for their pizza by far. So if you ever see a Casey's, you know, you're driving through and you see one pull over, especially if you're hungry, and and grab a pizza, you'll like it. Let's go up and over, and then it should be just, if I remember where I'm at, I don't like to use my phone when I'm driving, even looking at the map, sometimes I catch myself looking a little too much, and then I was like, whoa, that could have been a little accident there, but I think it's right up here. All right, there she is. That's what I thought. Right by the church. So it's right over there. You could, oh, he actually already has it there. So we're going to get right to work this morning. And I just got to get parked, finish my pizza real quick. My friend's name is Glenn. So he's going to be helping today. I'm going to have him whenever somebody has to shovel something. That is his job. So let me, let me finish this pizza. Then we're going to, we're going to see what we're looking at. All right. It's pretty windy today. That's, uh, that, that shouldn't be a big deal. But here's what we're looking at. They got it all squared off. This is the pool. Very nice. So this is going to be big. He, he goes big besides his house is like kind of small compared to the pool if you actually like look at it so this is he is i almost forgot my best friend glenn i forgot he was an olympic swimmer that's why he's doing this so cool 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 this is a super wide and long pool a lot of work so let's see what what are we working with here he leased me an f or a 420f cat okay that goes pretty decent it has the teeth honestly okay i wish he would have got I showed him to took a show him to get another another backhoe bucket one that's like a little a little bigger for the lighter stuff. Obviously, once we get deeper, it's probably gonna get a bit obviously more back down a little harder harder to get in here. But we'll be able to make it work. The only thing is we'll have to we'll have to have some downtime when we go and fill this trailer because this this trailer is gonna fill up pretty quick. Now it is it's it's the twenty foot long trailer and the sides are actually a lot taller than most dump trailers. I think it's six or eight inches taller than most. So it's capacity, like the area inside is is a lot. So let's get her in position and then we're going to get to work. Let me think where, 
Let me let me mess around in the cat and then we'll move around the drop. All right, this cat is a little nice. Oh, hey, the, what does this button do? Here we go. Let's do it. I might as well uh, might as well run it. But this cat's got a few more buttons than I'm used to. It should be should be just fine. Let me. I'm gonna unfold it. We're gonna get in position. Pretty much. I need to get out of the way of the dump trailer. So there we go. That's perfect. And then let's get the bucket. Get the front wheels off the ground. I just like to extend it just like that. Try and be as level as I can. Perfect. All right. All wheels are off the ground. We look good. All right, so I played around with it, just kind of getting the hang of it. It is going to take me probably like 30 minutes to kind of get the swing back, get the feel back for it, shake off the old rust, because I think the last thing I was in was a Bobcat Mini Excavator. Probably be about six months ago, helping out somebody. Yeah, I think I was helping out a friend who was building a retaining wall, and he has a landscape slash like excavation company, a smaller, smaller excavation. So I think one of his workers left. Anyway, doesn't matter. I think that was the last thing I was in. All right, I got my first bucket in there, filled it up quite a bit, but that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good chunk. So this is what we're looking at. Like I said, I measured it out. It's actually 25 by 50, which is 50 feet, which is pretty, pretty big. And we're going to see what kind of dent we can put into this thing. Like I said, I'm still trying to get in the swing of things. It's not as easy as it looks. The controls are actually very different from what I'm used to. It's almost backwards. So you're going to see me try and go to the right, but I'm going to the left, which is, which is pretty embarrassing. All right, there we go. Swing around. Perfect, perfect. I didn't fill it up all the way, but that, that was pretty decent. And then the thing is, the arm isn't as long as, like, you'd think it would be, but it works just enough. It was kind of tricky getting the dump trailer where it should be, but I think with time and, and more more trips, I'll get a lot better at it. There we go. Scratch it. All right. What? what? I always mess up this control to bring it. Which one is it? Let me think. One of the things that throws me off is I'm going to the left with my controller and the arm is going to the right. So that like there's there's one or two controls that are just messing with my mind right now and really slowing down the process. But like I said, everything, especially things like this in farms, they just take time and then you get like really good at them all. And then you try and teach somebody else once you get really good and they're like, what the heck? How do you do that? And you're like, I don't know, man. But I'm thinking at first here, just because like the dirt is kind of built up a bit, it's it's kind of fluffed. I was thinking I, I might just use the bucket to fill to fill it just that first here, and then once we actually have to dig, we can uh, we'll use the backhoe, of course. So that way we can just keep removing, try and be as efficient as possible, kind of get the hang of it a bit more. There we go. It's uh, it's a lot easier to use, or I'm, I'm a lot more inclined to use the front bucket just because it's it's a bit easier. But we can move along. I'm really happy. This dump trailer is perfect for this because like anything bigger than I guess you could bring a dump truck in here, but like almost anything bigger, it, it, we just don't have the room for it. Like the setup, the way the way he's trying to build this pool. There we go, guys. Enjoy the time lapse. I'm gonna try and knock some of this out, and we'll see how far we get. <laughs> favorite song is playing in a broadway bar then you walk in and you're all alone the hottest in the room by far and you look up and our eyes lock and my heart falls straight out of my chest baby your lips and your sweet smile let me kiss it till i die for the rest of Yeah, she's full all right so i gotta find that landfill glenn sent me the address and he was kind of describing to me where it was but i gotta head down there we're gonna see how she dumps make sure the dump trailer is fully charged and it's plugged into the truck so i don't have to worry about the dump trailer not being able to lift up and then having to grab a shovel and scoop it out i've had that happen with older dump trailers where i was kind of in a remote location and driving back to go get the trailer charged up and the battery charged to then drive all the way back and unload it it was better to just grab a shovel so all right here it is is this this is the place right here yep okay yeah i saw the sign back there and it, it pointed to around here where we're gonna dump perfect i gotta practice my backing up skills oh my goodness all right nice and easy perfect blocking some traffic that's okay this is kind of a weird spot to dump but all right it's not that bad there we go it's the button and there she is 
All right, she's dumping. I should probably drive forward just a bit. There we go. Perfect. And we're good. There we go. She's coming back down. I'm going to try and pull out of the way just in case somebody comes by. There's some there's some people watching me right there. Oh, let's wave at them awkwardly. That's kind of weird. But that's not a bad drive. Super close. That makes it really, really efficient. See, the house is just right there. So that's uh, that's as easy as it gets. All right, we got to keep moving. Keep moving dirt. It's, it's going good. I like... I, I kind of got the hang of the Caterpillar. I've mostly been using the front loader, the bucket in the front, so honestly, I haven't really used the backhoe much besides at the beginning. I'll kind of show you guys what we got done. There is there is some different like soil types. There's like a top soil or a more fluffier, lighter soil that has quite a bit of moisture in it. And then this stuff's more hard packed. So this is where I took the backhoe at the beginning. And this stuff, I mean, there's, there's kind of gravel in it. There's rocks maybe at one point. Uh, th this could have been like a gravel drive. There's just a lot of gravel. So good thing I have the teeth, the teeth on the back. Of, otherwise, if it was just a smooth bucket, that would be that would be pretty tough. So we got a lot of work to go there, and then this fluff, this this stuff isn't too bad. So we're scooping this away, really quick. But yeah, like I said, it's like oh, uh, and I gotta go pretty deep. I think he wants the deep end to be 10 feet and the shallow to be five. He was saying just so like the five is enough that he can swim, but yet his kids can kind of play in it too. So we're going to get to work and I'll check back in with you guys probably like in two or three hours or so. All right. So it's one, about one o'clock. I need my official lunch. So Glenn is whipping up. So I actually don't know what he's making, but this is, this is the progress we made. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to make sure like we could get to eight feet because it, it started to get pretty tough and then it actually got a little lighter. So Right here is eight feet. We set the mark. So I'm going to set this as our standard or like as our base. I'll have a laser level level down here. And then we're going to go from there. There's this weird different texture like right there. But anyway, we we made some the backhoe. We were working with the backhoe quite a bit. I think we have five loads out of the door now. So five loads that jump, dump trailer. We couldn't do it without it. And we're probably we might bring it back here. We'll just kind of see. So. We're knocking around. It, it's going really good. I'm enjoying it. Glenn, uh, okay, I think he's cooking in there. I thought I heard the fire alarms go off. Man, oh, that wouldn't be good. Or the, not the fire, the smoke detectors. What am I saying? What am I saying? But nobody is. Maybe it is fire alarm. No, I think it's smoke detectors. Is what you call it like in a house. Fire alarms, yes, like when you're in a big school or like a big public building or something. But all right, what am I talking about? Let's uh, let's eat and then we'll get back to work. All right, this is our last dump at the at the, the site here. So it's it's going good and, and we're done. I got to show you guys. I uh, I wanted to start recording once we once we just got done at the dirt and unloading the dirt. So we're good to go there. Jump back over. You might be able to see the backhoe from here no once we get close to the diner i think glenn is is buying me dinner at the diner tonight i'm probably just gonna stay at his house because it was actually it was like an hour and a half drive and i'm i'm just so i want you guys to see it it's official some spots are a little deeper a little grading needs to be done but in my opinion it's it's pretty solid now we hope that it doesn't rain a lot but here it is here's the finished result kind of I, I accidentally, I was running the backhoe and I had the supports right here and it kind of like caved in. So that's why you kind of see that, but, and, and right here. So that was rough. I had one support here, one support there. Wasn't good, but I think it's a really, really solid job, especially like first time actually ever doing this. It, it wasn't too bad. So there she is. Glenn's happy. Literally going to have a pool on his, on his back steps. <laughs> Literally yeah. one more step and you're in the pool. So. Everything went good. I'm not sure where he wants me to put this, but we'll bring it. We'll bring it up front. So that worked out good. He just leased it, and I think he's just buying me a six pack and getting me dinner. So that's what friends are for. Perfect. The dump trailer worked so good. I it would be curious to see, or I would be curious to see how many tons we actually moved today of dirt. That that would be like how many pounds. That would be that would be really cool. So. I think we're going to the diner. I will catch you guys in the next episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. A lot of fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Smash the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you all in the next one. Yee.